Hello everyone, my name is PythonGB and welcome back to the 14th episode of my Terraria Yo-Yo playthrough. Now today my friends, we are going to be doing the very thing that I said we'd do in the last episode, which is going ahead and uh, taking on Plantera. And if we manage to defeat her first time, then uh, we're going to go and get straight to Gollum, defeat his poor sap butt, and uh, then uh, probably the Solar Eclipse so we can get ourselves the Eye of Cthulhu Yo-Yo, which is going to be the next one in terms of our progression. So... Yeah, all we gotta do is have a bit of a hunt around just to see if we can find some cool stuff, you know what I'm saying? So we've got ourselves some Spelunker potions, I guess what would be a good idea is for us to go ahead and start obtaining these little bad boys. There you go, some life fruits. The more of these we can find, the better we are probably gonna do against Plantera. So, yeah man, all we gotta do is have a bit of a hunt around for some life fruits and uh, hunt around also... For a, uh, for a Plantera bulb as well, of course. And then as a result of all of that, we should be able to do this thing. Hello, hello, and hello. Oh, it's another Yellet. Oh, my lord. It's not like we don't have a crap ton of those already. Oh, hey there, buddy. Get off me, man. Hey, buddy. Hey, I'm a skeleton. Get out of here with your freaking prickly personality and looks. Get out. Wait, what? What? <laughs> what? Did you guys see that? That life fruit literally split itself in half. It was splitting its sides. Uh, uh. Oh, I'm sorry, bad joke. Bad joke, bad joke. I know, I know, I know. Shut up. Don't don't you roast me in the comments area. Oi, oi, stop typing. Stop typing it right now. Or I'm going to come to them freaking hunt you down. Don't you do it. <laughs> oh, dear. Alrighty, so uh, are we going to find ourselves a whole bunch more of these? Th oh, hello. I mean, you know, I'll take, a, I'll take one of those any day. Huh, nice one. Okay, uh, is there anything else going on here? Some more Arapamas. Uh, hmm, not a great deal of anything else according to the Spelunker potion. Some more life fruits would be awesome. Uh, should we have a look at the minimap real quick just to see if there's any, uh, any Plantera bulbs about? Uh, hmm, not seeing any so far. Uh, let's just have a look over here. Are there any at all? It would be kind of cool if there was one somewhere. Uh, what about over here? Oh, there is one. It's way up here. Holy crap. Huh. Okay, so we need to go up and to our left slightly. Okay, that's fair enough. I guess while we're down here, we can, you know, kill many birds with one stone. Maybe try to get some turtle shells. I think that'd be a cool idea because, you know, getting turtle shells, getting turtle armor. And as a result, beetle armor, we are going to be pretty damn good in terms of defense. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, uh, let's just uh, do stuff. Involving this hornet. Get out of here, bud. No one likes you. You are the most annoying mob. Well, one of the most annoying mobs in Terraria, in my personal opinion. You know, you can feel free to disagree with me. But honestly, I think most flying mobs that, uh, you know, shoot you, in my opinion, are like probably the most annoying mobs in Terraria. So, yeah. And you watch. Now that I've said that, they're going to make them even more difficult to take down, aren't they? Don't you do it, we logic. Don't you do it. <laughs> Ah, oh, dear. All right, let's keep going, though, folks. So, uh, yeah, the time in this uh, video going out, I'm actually in the process of pre-recording because uh, this coming weekend, I'm actually going to be away uh, visiting my parents. And uh, also, in that same visit, I'm going to be going to my very first funeral, which is actually going to be pretty interesting, to say the very least. Uh, been a long time since I've cracked out the old, uh, you know, suit and tie job. You know what I'm saying? Last time I had to do that was for, like, a job interview, so... I don't know, man. It's going to be uh, pretty interesting. It's going to be certainly a different experience. It is uh, for my old neighbor where I used to live. Uh, you know, I, I knew him, you know, I didn't know him like very, very well. But, uh, you know, it, it's still, it's still, you know, sad that he passed away and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I didn't feel too, too bad about it. I felt more bad for his uh, for his wife and his relatives rather than you know for he himself i mean he himself was a very chirpy very cheery person and uh, i was like okay so yeah i don't know he didn't strike me as the kind of person who'd want me to like stop youtube for any amount of time to like grieve or anything like that so that's exactly what i haven't done so yeah Alrighty. oh there you go so uh, there we go we found ourselves the uh, plantero bulb and all we're going to do now is we need to make ourselves a large open area. Oh, check this out. We've got an ancient cobalt helmet. Huh. Okay. Uh, let's get ourselves some bombs real quick. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. There you go, folks. Come on, buddy. 
What we've got to do is make ourselves a reasonably large open area. Uh, we do not have ourselves any dynamite or anything like that, unfortunately, which does kind of suck, admittedly, but, uh, you know, you can't have everything in the world, can you now? It's just something you can't do. All right, so maybe we uh, extend it down here a bit. I don't know. In, uh, in regular mode Plantera, well, regular mode Plantera, you do not need that much room to take her down because you could do a lot of damage to her and she won't do a lot of damage to you in return. Can you, like, not... What the... I don't... Can you not? Okay, I actually didn't mean to place that thing down right there. I should probably get that out of my inventory because that is not a yo-yo. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know, I do use... I do utilize the uh, Sentry Star weapons in the Old One Army event because it's it's just part of the event. It makes sense to use it and, uh, you know, it's a good way of uh, being able to progress through it as well. So, can you not... For goodness sake, bats. Y'all are trying to try my patience right now, dude. And uh, it's not going to go well for you, man. It's not going to end well for you. It's not going to end well for my sanity. So if you could, like, do me a favor and, like, stop with that crap, that would be absolutely fantastic. All right, so here we go. Yeah. Okay. So the sentry dudes are affected by gravity. Interesting. Oh, that makes sense, actually, because the staff of the Frost Hydra in my old Summoner series was affected by gravity as well. So... You know, that, that's okay. That is perfectly okay. Alrighty, so, as you can see, just to get out of a big area right here. Oh, lordy, lordy. What the hell? Dude, get out of here, man. Dude, how can I... Can I, like, get rid of this thing? Or dragon? I can't actually get rid of it. I'm going to have to wait for it to expire, really. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Okay, right. I'll tell you what, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to continue going... Up. Do you mind? You flew into the swinging of my pickaxe, so I'm not going to class that as an illegal kill even though it kind of was, but, you know, it's their own fault, you know? It's not my fault they flew into my pickaxe swing, freaking idiots, stupid bats. Look, again, again, he flew into my pickaxe swinging. Dude, these guys are stupid. <laughs> I'll tell you something. Alrighty, well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this uh, space nicely opened up, and then, uh, yeah, we're going to get on with Plantera, and then after that, if we manage to defeat her first time, then we will, of course, get on with Gollum. And yeah, next episode will probably be the solo clips. So yeah, let's get on with some preparations and I'll be back shortly. You are kidding me, right? All right, guys, so we managed to get our stuff back, which is good. It was actually reasonably painless. I actually got killed by a wyvern on the way back here once, which is a bit weird considering I was roaming along the ground the entire time. But uh, anyways, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get on with this thing. We've got a bunch of buff potions, which is awesome. Uh, hmm. I don't want to use that, though. I might go ahead and uh, individually use these. Okay. Really don't want to use Spelunker, so there you go. All right, Plantera has awoken. And I've got to say, if there is a freaking producer down there, I am going to be mad as heck. All right, bud, you can get out of here. Little Mimic can get out of here. This gal has already lost, like, 3,000 health nearly enough. That's kind of badass. All right, keep it going. Just make sure there's no one on the ground here. Nice one. Okay, make sure there's no flying around. Those annoying little freaking hornet dudes. Those things are a pain in the batuki. Alright, so yeah, let's just keep ourselves going, folks. I mean, uh, we should be able to do this, man. I mean, you know, Plantera on uh, easy mode. Or, well, easy mode. <laughs> Plantera on regular mode is pretty easy. But on the complete extreme flip side... She is a complete nightmare in expert mode. Like, she is among the most difficult bosses next to, next to Duke Fish one in expert mode. Legit. It is really quite surprising just how insanely, like, powerful she is on expert mode. It's like two extremes, really, isn't it? Okay, well, uh, whatever the case may be, look at her. She's almost down already. I mean, we're barely losing any health at this point, so... Yeah, no, we're, we're doing pretty well for ourselves. I can probably just boss this now. And there she goes. She is done. Okay, we've got a grenade launcher, temple key, plantera mask. You know, pretty pretty generic stuff. Stuff we can't use as well. Uh, so, yeah, pretty cool. Okay, so the question is, where is the temple? It is... I'm going to say it's here. For the simple fact that... Uh, Hmm, I don't know. Oh, wait, no, hang on a minute. It's there. It's there. I see it. Okay, so we need to go to the right-hand side of this jungle biome, and uh, then we'll be able to get into the temple, man. So, yeah, let's make our way over there real quick. So, all we got to do is uh, get up here. Nope, hang on. We need to get up here, in fact. There we go. Uh, we might as well kill two birds with one stone while we're traveling. We might be able to find ourselves some life fruits. The more health, the better, of course. So, let's just keep going. 
looking, I'm sort of scouring the... I am silently raging so hard in my mind. Alrighty guys, once again got my stuff back and uh, organized everything and we are now just about ready to head inside of the temple to see what kind of stuff we can find. We are looking mostly for a solar tablet or maybe just a whole bunch of solar tablet fragments. Oh, that's a point. We need to be careful of traps, huh? Ah, uh, you sneaky buggers, you think you can uh, take me down that way, huh? Thinking of new ways to take me down and make me silently rage. Hmm. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. I'm gonna take the lizard power cells. Let's chuck the, these away, these away. Uh, let's take ourselves that. Uh, we'll take the gold coin, obviously. Uh, teleportation potion. Gold bar will probably be useful. I'll take that, but not really do much with it. I'll take the TP potion. Nice. Okay, so... Let's continue on. Maybe there's some stuff going on down here. In fact, uh, what would be a good idea is if we did this. There we go. See? Python is smart sometimes. Just sometimes. You know. Ah! Oh, you sneaky bugger. It almost got me, folks. It almost got me, even though I had a danger sense potion on. That would have been pretty bad, huh? <laughs> Alright, so uh, let's just head around here. There's another trap down there. Let's get rid of that. Uh, let's continue down. There's a graph potion. I've got millions. I've got literally loads of graph potions. Like, I'm pushing nearly 20 graph potions back at base. I do not need any more of them at all. So, yeah, that's why we're not grabbing them. Okay, uh, let's grab this. Uh, there's one of those guys. That's fine. There's a trap down here. It's a tarp! Get off me, bud. Okay, uh, let's keep going. There's one right there. That's totally fine. Whoa! Okay, that one got me. You little bugger. You sneaky bugger. Oh, hey, 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 get out of it. Alright, boom. Uh, what else is going? Oh, hello! Is it gonna be another five gold one? Ah oh, man, it keeps giving- Oh! It keeps only giving me the five gold ones. Dude, that freaking sucks. Alright, not doing too bad though. We've now got two lizard power cells. We haven't found a great deal of- Oh, what the hell? We haven't found a great deal of chest in this so far, huh? It would be- Oh! 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 There's mushroom terrorists around. I don't like it. I don't like it. Can you like not, please? I would very much- Ah! Uh, I would very much rather live, thank you very much. Hey, good sir, good sir, will you please stop it? I do not want your stuff. You're like a freaking cold caller, dude. I don't want your stuff! Stop calling me! Stupid jerk. Alright, here we go. Hey. Uh, not too bad, not too bad. Let's keep ourselves going. Uh, there's some flame traps right here. Might be useful for, uh, setting up a- a thingy in future. A thingy, I tell you. Uh, grab potion, TP potion. Can I use this? No, I can't. Dang it! Alright, let's break you. Uh, let's keep going. I think that we are just about to approach the final room, which of course is going to contain the thing. You know, the altar. That's what I'm all about. There you go, folks. I got there in the finish, okay? I got there in the finish. There we go. Okay. Wait, what the hell? Oh, they're, they're dropping souls of light. Oh, damn. We're, we're surrounded by hallow. That's actually kind of awesome. We can, like, again, do a two birds with one stone kind of deal and just, like, farm people out here. Trying to get ourselves a lizard power cells and also some souls at the same time. That's kind of a cool idea, isn't it? Nice. I mean, you know, no complaints for me and all of that. Uh, hello. Uh, hi there, buddy. All right, uh, let's go and uh, light the situation up real quick. Uh, I'm actually kind of lucky because we haven't got any spikes on the floor in this room, which means we don't really need to spend a great deal of time going ahead and, uh, you know, uh, preparing stuff. I've got rid of all the traps, of course. And, uh, yeah, aside from that, I think we're just about ready to go in and uh, attempt golems. So let's buff up. And let's do this thing, folks. I really don't feel like we're gonna, you know, lose this fight. There shouldn't be any reason whatsoever for us to lose this fight. Look at him. He's already down to 10k. I mean, come on, man. I feel like the bosses are actually easier to survive against than the freaking generic population of mobs, you know? Especially freaking Medusas. Both of my deaths, well, both of my main deaths have been by Medusa. One of them was, uh, one of them admittedly was from a wyvern that spawned at surface level, which which is just utterly stupid. All right, here we go. 5k health. Make that 4k. I just saw Yellets fall on the ground there. It can't be better. It can't possibly be better than my ruthless one. I don't even know what the free... Oh, hello. Sunstone. Cool. What is it? It's another ruthless one. <laughs> oh, a lizard egg. Hey, we can have a lizard dude on this world as well. That's freaking sweet. Wait, what do I have currently? I've got a dragon thing, haven't I? Yeah, I've got a pet dragon. How come it's not with me? 
Boom. There he is. Oh, he's flying around. Of course he is. Duh. I'm being an idiot. Oh, hello. How you doing there, sir? Get off me. And you can go away as well. Okay, cool. Uh, we got a sunstone. That's actually a really good accessory. I'm actually really happy that we got that. Hmm. Okay. Oh, another little lizard power cell. I'll tell you what, guys. What we're going to do is we're going to farm this guy out a whole bunch more times. Oh, I just realized that guy's down there. He isn't going to be selling me any more yo-yos, though, unfortunately. We need the traveling merchant to come along if we want some more yo-yos. So I'm not too fussed about there being a skeleton merchant. We've already got both of the things he sells, which I do believe are the format C and the gradient yo-yo. We've both we've got them both, so we just don't need them. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to find this guy out. See if we can't get some cool stuff. Maybe a pixel. Maybe, uh, maybe, I don't know. That's all we really want, really. A pixel. There isn't really too much else you can give me. Maybe a Eye of the Golem. You can maybe combine that with some else later down the line, but I don't know. Let's just get on with it, folks. I'll be back shortly. Yeah, and speak of the devil, an eye of the golem. <laughs> I literally just called that, didn't I? Oh, a golem trophy. Well, I might as well put it in here, right? Highly up, there you go. And yeah, time for another one. Hey, and there we go, my friends, a pixel. Fantastic. I'm actually really happy about that. <laughs> We've actually got all of the things that I wanted to get from Golem. So we Okay, uh, can we chuck something away real quick? Uh, I don't really want to chuck away the souls. I feel, oh, okay, we can chuck away the granite. Don't need it. All right, cool. Nice one. All right, so we've got one more dude to take down, and then we're good in terms of Gollum. Oh, boy. It's not looking good on this one, folks. I think we need to get out of here. Yeah, I think we're going to need to uh, ditch that particular attempt to take down Gollum. Yeah, our health was not looking so good. And to be quite frank with you guys, I am not about to go ahead and die, lose all my stuff again, and then have to go back to the Golem Temple. Which, by the way, has got to be one of the worst places to die if you're on medium core. Because you've got to survive against the lizards. you got to survive against the flying snake dudes. And then even getting there, you need to survive against the freaking tortoises. All that kind of stuff. You know, there's a lot of crap going on there. And uh, I just thought it'd be best to avoid the situation entirely. So that's what I've done. But uh, anyways, guys, I think on that note, on that successful note, we've taken down Plantera and Golem in the same episode, which is kind of nice. Which means next episode, we are free to take on the Solar Eclipse, hopefully get ourselves the Eye of Cthulhu yo-yo, and then progress on through there. Because I think the next boss to do will probably be Duke Fishon, perhaps. I don't see a reason why we can't take him down. On the normal mode, he is a lot easier than he is on expert mode. As you guys know, I've been having a lot of trouble with uh, Duke Fish on an expert mode because his third stage where he teleports about, he is a complete butthole. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, if you did enjoy the episode, do, of course, be sure to drop a like rating. It'll be super appreciated. And, of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But that's just about it for today, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your continued support. And I'll see you guys next time.